Hi guys, welcome to SYCMU. Um, as you can see, the bed is gone. I'm so happy to rid myself of that headache. I didn't realize how much stress it put on me all the time until uh, I found the mold and then I got frustrated. I got kind of mad and uh, tossed it out the back. Um, losing that storage space underneath my bed was not detrimental. I didn't even have a lot under there whatever. So, uh, I'm going to try to salvage as much wood off of that bed frame as I can to build other things. Um, but I actually got in here after I took that frame out. I dug out my hammock and I knew that it would fit in here. I've seen people do it before. I was fully confident that my hammock would string somehow from there to there somehow. So I got it out after I tore the bed frame out, uh, and I hooked it to, you guys know that I don't have a passenger seat. Well, the anchor that the seat belt mounts to is still there. Perfect. So there is that anchor. This is a temporary anchor behind me. It's where the doors close and the latch goes over. I intend to put a different hook there permanently in the frame maybe even tack weld something because I want it to be sturdy. I do not want to bend something so it'll mess up my doors. I, this is very temporary and I take it down during the day when I'm not using it. It's put up. Um, it's perfect though, the way that it stretches from here to there. And I kind of stay on the passenger side of the van. So when I do get up out of it, I have room to like step down and roll out of it because my dog also sleeps in the hammock. She's actually really good at sleeping in a hammock. Hi, huh, Shadow. You like sleeping in the hammock? She doesn't really like sleeping in the hammock because she doesn't get to take up 75% of the bed. Yeah, she's a bed hog. Um, I want to show you around. Let's go. The front is still the same. So if you look right up here. That is the anchor in which A holds my curtain and B holds my hammock. The cooler is still there, but not holding food anymore because I came across this little kitchenette. Look at that. It's perfect. It holds all my food because I don't have any reason to have a fridge right now. Um, I've got my fruit hung there. Here's my cabinet still. I left that. It's good. Um, this is all the same. There is mold starting down here at the bottom, though. And, I mean, I left a gap, but that's just a fight for another day. My dog has her little corner, which she actually really likes. She stays out from underfoot when I'm moving around the van. She just really likes attention. Here's the trunk that was where the kitchenette is. And it's in the back of my van in front of the doors. And it slides. It's not anchored. There's my sleeping bag, my hammock, and a couple of coats, my book and art bin. Still the same setup here, little shelf thing, clothing, and those, cleaners and stuff. Yeah, this is what you were propped up on. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as you can kind of see behind me, I really thought that the trunk in front of the back doors was going to kind of bother me, um, but I put it there and after a couple of days, I didn't mind it. Um, I can reach blankets if I fold blankets nice and neat and I put it behind me in the hammock when I get cold or if I don't put a blanket under me sometimes, which I do normally, but I'll get lazy and if I get cold, I can just reach, grab another blanket and then just shove it in my sleeping bag under me because <laughs> you still get cold butt in a hammock and a van. Um, but yeah, so I actually have really enjoyed this whole hammock thing. It's changed van life for me a little bit. It's uh, taken the work out of going to bed and the headache of that frame and half the mold to fight now. Now I just have to keep things away from the walls. That's it. That's really all I need to do. I mean, so far so good. This kitchenette right here is amazing. Um, I have to roll down the driver's side window when I like make pasta or turn the coffee pot on now instead of the passenger side. It just doesn't have the draw. Sometimes I'll crack it anyway. 
but I need a little fan. I'm going to buy a fan here soon, so. And I can, like, store my food. I need a little net that goes over the front for the stuff in that little part. But it changed the feel in this van a lot, and I love it. Love it so much. Though, with the bed frame being gone, I've noticed that this little heater takes a little bit longer to heat up the inside of the van because there's a little more space now. Um, I'm really happy, happy with it though. Super happy. I'm going to start working on insulation when it gets a little drier and a little warmer again. Every time I think it's done freezing, it freezes again and it snows and it gets disgusting out. And I need it to at least be like in the forties, the forties would be good. That's where it's recommended to spray this stuff at, even on the cold side of it. So, but yeah. I'll figure it out. I will get this van insulated and every week I'm getting a step closer and a step closer and this much further ahead. I'll make it. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good week and uh, I'll see you next week.